What's up guys, it's Sean here from The Computer Scientist. Today we'll be looking at the hill climbing algorithm and applying it to solve the cart pole environment in OpenAI Gym. Hill climbing is a technique used for solving optimization problems, usually where we're trying to optimize a function to maximize or minimize its output. It starts with a random initial solution and then uses a trial and error approach to tweak the solution in an arbitrary way and then trial it with the given inputs and assess how well it did compared to the previous solution. If the modified solution performed better, then it becomes our new best solution and we repeat the process again. However, if the modified solution performed worse than the previous solution, then we just scrap that one and try a different modification of the best solution. So now let's think about how we would apply this to the cart pull environment. The cart pull environment is a control problem where we need to push the cart either left or right to keep the pole balanced upright above the cart. The overall aim is to keep the cart within the screen width and to keep the pole balanced within an angle of 12 degrees either side of the vertical for 200 time steps where we get a reward of one for each time step that those conditions are satisfied. And at each time step we are given the current state of the cart's position and velocity along the track as well as the pole's angle and angular velocity which we would need to use to determine whether to push the card left or right to keep the pole balanced. So essentially we need a function that takes in the current state and outputs the best action to keep the pole balanced and therefore maximizing the overall reward. Sounds like a task for hill climbing. Now our state will be given to us as a vector of the cart's position, velocity and the pole's angle and angular velocity. So we need our function to output the best action of left or right to take in a particular state. To generalize for any number of actions, we will output a vector with predicted values for taking each action in that state where the action with the highest value is the one we will take in that given state. Then to transform our input state vector of four elements to an output vector of two elements, our function can simply matrix multiply the input state with a four by two weight matrix to output two values matching our left or right action options. Now we will start with a random initial weight matrix and take our function for an initial test run of the environment to see how well it could balance the pole using those initial weights based on the total of the rewards from that episode. We will save the as the initial best observed reward and the best weights that achieve the reward, which we will represent as capital R0 and capital W0. We will then sample a new trial weight matrix as lowercase w by adding a random noise matrix n to the best weights and then test the function's performance again, where the trial's total reward as lowercase r will be compared with the best observed reward for updating our weights. If the trial's reward is greater than the best observed reward, we will save it as the new best reward update our best weights and then halve the magnitude of the next random noise matrix for finer variation. Otherwise, if the performance was worse, our next random weight matrix will have doubled the magnitude of the previous one for more exploration of different weights. Then we will sample the next set of trial weights with the new random noise matrix and repeat this process with the new weights. So that's the basic approach. Now let's see it in action in our code. So I'm back in the Jupyter Notebook from my video Getting Started with OpenAI Gym where we went through the installation of OpenAI Gym and how to run through a simulation of the card pool environment with a random agent. I'll link that video in the description in case you'd like to see how to set this up. So we will first need to add NumPy to our imports. Now the environment I described earlier is called card pool v0, which has documentation on how the environment operates, which you can find by searching for OpenAI Gym wiki, clicking on this link and then on the card pool link. Here it tells you what information is included in the state what index values each action corresponds to and how the reward is calculated and when the episode is considered done, which is when the pole has fallen past 12 degrees from the vertical or if the cart has gone off the screen or after 200 time steps. Now to start implementing hill climbing, we will rename this agent class to hill climbing agent and revert back to returning a random action for now. We will also save our state dimensions as the shape of the observation space from the env object. Then we will create a function for initializing our model where we initialize the weight matrix as small random values of shape 4 by 2 which we can get by passing the individual dimensions of the state shape and then the action size. We initialize our best observed total reward as the lowest number possible and our best weights to be the current weights. We can also specify our initial noise scale for scaling the magnitude of each random noise matrix. Then we want to redefine the getAction function which derives the action we should use in a given state. So we first multiply the state vector by the weights and then select the action index with the highest value using the argmax function. 
Finally, we need a function to update our model, which takes in the total reward from the last trial episode. Then, if the new reward is greater than the best reward, we will update the best reward, save the current weights, and halve the noise scale. Otherwise, we just double the noise scale. We should also limit the minimum and maximum value of the noise scale so that we don't stagnate our model improvements and also don't increase our weights to very large values. Lastly, we sample the new current weights by adding our best weight and the noise matrix scaled by the new noise scale. So in our for loop for running each time step of the simulation, I'll create a variable done which keeps track of when the episode is terminated, which is set by the env.step function. And so we'll use that as a condition to run the episode since we don't get any reward after an episode terminates. I'll also create a variable to save the total rewards from each episode, which we will add to it every time step. Then we will train for 100 episodes, and after each episode we will pass the total reward to the agent to decide how it should update the model in relation to the best reward. Then let's print each episode's total reward and try running it. So we see that the model initially starts off pretty poorly, but eventually improves to balance the pole for the maximum of 200 time steps. So a few points about hill climbing. Now because we start with a random model which we improve with the random noise, this technique could take any amount of time to reach the optimal solution. In fact, depending on the complexity of the environment, it might not always reach an optimal solution, in which case the reward might plateau at a suboptimal local maxima. A remedy for this is called random restart, where we would restart the entire training process with new random initial weights, which could lead us closer to the global maximum. But for the card pole environment, it is possible to derive the best action to take from a single weight matrix multiplication, so hill climbing was able to eventually get to the global optimum solution. So you just saw how hill climbing can be used as a general approach to find a solution to an optimization problem. In the next few videos, we will move towards incorporating neural networks to solve the card pole environment and eventually some of the other more complex OpenAI gym environments. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, be sure to give it a like, and I'll see you next time. Bye!